How Money Makes Money You can't get wealthy trading your time for money, no matter how hard you work. There are only so many hours in a day, and unfortunately, you won't get paid for the time you take for rest, sleep, and other activities. What if there's an easier path to wealth? What if your money could work for you? What if it could be the perfect employer? It doesn't need sleep, breaks, or a salary, so it is continuously hard at work, making more money for you round the clock, all year long. Fortunately, there are many ways your money can be put to work, making money for you. And while you put in your 40 hours of work every week, your diligent dollars continue working non-stop. So in today's video, we will share with you 6 ways money makes money. But before we get into it, give this video a big thumbs up and comment below what video or topic you'd like us to make next. Now, let's get into it. High Yield Savings Account A high yield savings account can serve as a safe base for your army of dollars before deploying them towards more profitable but riskier ventures. High yield savings accounts are FDIC insured and typically pay 20 to 25 times more than the traditional savings accounts. So, your money can generate more money while it waits to be called into other duties. Let's say you have an extra $10,000 and not sure yet of the best way to get it to make money for you. Keeping it in a high yield savings account that offers an annual percentage yield, APY, of 2% will yield $200 in a year. While this is hardly a fortune, it's better than leaving it in regular savings or checking account that offers about 0.1% APY. You might as well keep your cash under your pillow. As every financial planner will tell you, it's a good idea to have a minimum of six months of living expenses saved up in easily accessible cash as emergency funds before deploying the excess to make more money for you. Your emergency funds are better kept in a high yield savings account where you can easily access them when the need arises. You can easily open a high yield savings account where you already bank. However, online banks typically offer the highest rate. They keep their costs down by minimizing physical locations and can pass this cost efficiency as higher rates for their customers. Before we get into the second strategy, I'd like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is a platform where you can access thousands of information-packed courses, literally. You can get classes on topics such as finance, photography, drawing, and so much more. Whether you're looking to fend off boredom, focus on self-care through creativity, or join a similarly creative community, Skillshare is the place to keep you learning. One course that I really liked in particular is The Fab Four of Personal Finance, Get Your Money in Order and Live the Life You Deserve by Sun Han. This course will teach you the basics of investing, budgeting, retirement, and so much more. It's a great course for someone who wants to learn the basics of finance and how to go about investing and having money work for you, plus so much more. So if you are interested, do check it out. Another course I liked was Productivity Masterclass, Principles and Tools to Boost Your Productivity by Ali Abdal. If you've ever struggled with productivity, getting things done, or consistently keep telling yourself, I just don't have enough time, this course is for you. So, the first 1,000 people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. And after that, it's only around $10 a month. Retirement Accounts 401ks and IRAs are the two most important retirement accounts. These are investment accounts, and your savings are invested in the market with the promise of exponential growth. A 401k is an employer-sponsored retirement account. It's best for people who don't have the self-discipline to set aside money by themselves, since the cash is taken straight from their paycheck. With a 401k, you invest pre-tax dollars. This means that your taxable income for that year is reduced. To get the best out of your 401k, start saving early and as much as possible. When you've set up your emergency funds, the next target is to optimize the tax efficiency of the 401k and get your money into the markets to start making more money for you. If your employer matches your contribution, go for the maximum limit so that you don't leave any money on the table. After you've maxed out your 401k, start putting your money in an IRA, Independent Retirement Arrangement, or Roth IRA. Traditional IRA and Roth IRA are retirement accounts that you open and fund yourself. The difference between the two is that with a traditional IRA, you contribute pre- or after-tax dollars. Your money grows tax-deferred and withdrawals are taxed as current income after the age of 59 and a half. But with a Roth IRA, you contribute after-tax dollars, your money grows tax-free, and you can make tax and penalty-free withdrawals after the age of 59 and a half. 
the IRA and 401k aren't the only retirement savings plans out there. Other lesser-known options to consider include simple IRA plans, savings incentive match plans for employees, SEP plans, simplified employee pension, payroll deduction IRAs, profit-sharing plans, PSPs, health saving account, HSA. These funds in retirement savings are typically invested in mutual funds, CDs, ETFs, stocks, bonds, and other financial assets. Whichever retirement plan you choose to grow your nest egg, it makes sense to start early. Starting early allows you to leverage the power of compound interest to reinvest and earn from your earning, essentially a snowball effect that exponentially grows your money. So you start with a single investment of $20,000 on your 20th birthday, and it grows at a conservative 5% annually till you retire at 65. Your initial investment will compound to about $90,000. Stock Market When you have set up maximum permissible contribution to your retirement plans, you should consider investing in the stock market if you want your money to make money for you. However, avoid timing the market or day trading. That is trading stocks to take advantage of favorable fluctuations in the market. You're better off with a long-term investing strategy, also known as buy and hold strategy. This is a conservative approach to investing where you buy security, such as a stock, mutual fund, bond, ETF, etc., and hold on to it for a long time. This way, the investment is not subject to short-term market fluctuations. As a long-term investor, you'll hold on to your investments with the hope that in the future, the sector that you invested in will have grown substantially. You ride out whatever new development that arises over the period, with the hope that in the next 10 years or more, your investment must have yielded a reasonable return. With time, the fluctuations should even out, resulting in an overall gain. Let's assume an average annual return of 10%. A $10,000 investment would yield $25,937 after 10 years. Even better, if you add $5,000 yearly to your portfolio, your investment will grow to a whopping $105,624 in the same period. Suppose you don't have time and skill to handle your portfolio personally. In that case, there are now robo-advisors, which can automate your investment portfolio using advanced algorithms. Robo-advisors like Betterment and Wealthfront will create a bespoke portfolio based on your goals, risk tolerance, and other preferences. They'll give you a diversified portfolio made up of multiple funds to minimize your risks. Other ways you can invest your money in the stock market and have it create more money for you include index funds, individual stocks, target date funds, and real estate investment funds, REITs. Real Estate Housing is one of the basic human needs, and the demand is always there. Therefore, putting your money in real estate is a great way to get it to create more money for you. You can either invest in residential or commercial real estate. Investing in real estate makes money for you in two ways, appreciation and rental income. A property appreciates or increases in value with time, and you turn a profit by selling. When investing in real estate, bear in mind that property appreciation is fast-tracked by location, improvements, and development. Location is the most critical appreciation factor for a residential property. When facilities like transit routes, shopping malls, schools, and leisure facilities spring up around a neighborhood, the value appreciates considerably. The second way you can make money from real estate is through rental income. Your tenants pay a fixed amount monthly, which is known as rent, and this applies to both residential and commercial properties. Let's take a look at some of the actionable ways you can start earning from real estate. Flipping Flipping is the process of buying a property, improving it within a short time, and selling it off. To make money from flipping properties, you must have an eye for viable properties. You should be able to easily determine the underlying cost involved in improving the property to the desired level and its potential value. You should also be able to fix them up yourself or hire a renovation firm. Buy and hold. Here you buy a residential or commercial property and rent it out. You can opt to manage the property yourself or get a management agency to take the stress linked to being a landlord away from you. Vacation Rentals You can earn some money by renting out a house or room on a short-term basis. Companies like Airbnb have made it easy for homeowners and property investors to cash in on this by catering to travelers. This is especially profitable if your property is located in a well-known tourist destination. The demand for such arrangements is high, as many vacationers prefer it to staying in hotels. Real Estate Crowdfunding this method of putting your money in real estate is especially suited for those who do not have much access to capital. Traditionally, investing in real estate requires a significant amount of money. This has made the sole preserve of the rich and those with access to financing. 
But in recent times, crowdfunding real estate deals have taken off. It involves the process of pooling resources together to invest in real estate. The best part? You can start with as little as $100. There are many real estate crowdfunding platforms where you can own a piece of high-value property with a mere tap on your smartphone. Business You can make a whole lot of money by starting your own business. Although not without risks, putting your money in a startup can pay off handsomely. If you can't stomach the stress of getting a business off the ground, you can be a silent partner by putting down your money in someone's venture. You won't have control over the business's daily running, but if all goes well, you will share the company's profits without breaking a sweat. Self-improvement Another way your money can work for you is by increasing your value. Invest time and money in improving your marketable skills, and you will start reaping the rewards financially in no distant time. Look for certifications and professional degrees that make you a high earner and highly sought after in your industry. And it doesn't even have to cost you a lot, nor do you have to go to an Ivy League university and spend four years. Many online courses offer you an opportunity to further your education at a reasonable cost and get certified in your interest areas. So in conclusion, your money can make money for you if you know how to use it right. The tips above can all be classified as passive income sources, that is, making money without exerting much effort. The best part about passive income is that you continue to earn once you set it up, even while you sleep. Sounds easy, right? Still, they all require a significant upfront investment in time and money. The list is not exhaustive, and there are many other passive income sources out there. However, the most important thing is that you now know how money can make money. Just pick one and run with it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, welcome and consider subscribing for more awesome content like this. With that said, have a great day you guys, and I'll see you all in the next one.